fishing friend. My name is JC with Rad Reeling Fishing. Stop the madness. Nobody wants to hear your sad, sad story. Everybody complains about how hard it is to clean sheep's head. I used to too, until I learned a method from Blair Wiggins, you guys, that makes it so easy to fillet a sheep's head. That's the method I'm gonna show you in this video, so let's get on with it. People always complain and say that sheep's head are difficult to clean. They're not. I'm gonna show you a super easy way to fillet sheep's head. All right, first thing we're gonna do, we're just gonna cut straight across. like that next thing that we want to do is right here if we we lift this dorsal fin okay and we count back between the first one one two three in between the second and third one take a very sharp pointed knife and just insert it right underneath the skin insert it right there okay this skin has a little bitty flap i learned this from blair wiggins sheep said have a little bitty flap right there if you stick your knife underneath that flap then you can turn it back around this way. Make sure your hands are out of the way. Finish cutting up towards the head. Get your hand out of the way. You can get your finger underneath there. Once you get that started, as you lift up right here in this area, you can take your knife and you can run it right along. That little flap of skin will pull right up off of the dorsal fin like that. You just keep your knife pointed down on the backbone and uh, this makes cleaning sheep's head a lot easier. Just pressure right here with your thumb, lifting up here, and then your knife just stays right down tight to the dorsal. I'm gonna show you the edge of that skin here in a moment. And you'll be able to see, if you look at the edge of the skin, you see right there, from the meat to the edge, there's a, an eighth to a quarter of an inch. That's a little flap that I just stuck my knife underneath. It makes cleaning sheep's head so easy. It's not a difficult task. So the next thing I do is right here where the anal fin is, I take my knife and I just keep it on top of the backbone and I stick it right through so it comes out where the anal fin is. And then I just twist my life knife a little bit on an angle, keep it down on the backbone. I've got pressure here on the fish and I'm just gonna push my knife back gently. Now I'm not gonna cut all the way through the skin. I'm gonna leave the skin attached to the tail. At this point, I take my fish I spin it back around and I can cut it a little bit here. All right, so now the next thing to make it easy for you guys who are beginners, I don't cut that fillet all the way off, okay? It's easier if you leave that fillet on, take and cut across your head again on the other side, just like you did on the first side. Spin your sheep set around. Come back here, you can count between one, two, between the second and third one, right about there, right underneath that little flap of skin, insert your sharp pointy knife, finish cutting that towards the, towards the head. You wanna get that so that it's loose so you can get your finger underneath it. Once you do that, <laughs> it's a little difficult when you've got a camera in your way. But once you do that, you can lift that skin and then you're gonna run your knife right along that, that backbone as you're lifting it up, up on the skin and the meat right there. And I'm not cutting through the skin at all. I don't have to cut through the skin at all up here because it's got that little flap that I showed you. It's got a, a place where that skin is not even attached. It's that quarter of an inch. So you run, just run your knife tight to the backbone like that. Once you get here across from the anal fin, you can stick your knife all the way through, keep it tight down to the backbone. Now you notice I keep my hand out of the way of the direction that the knife's going. I always keep my hand out of the way. So don't get in a hurry when you're doing this. Just always make sure the knife is going away from your hand. And uh, so I've got good pressure up here on the fish. I'm gonna take my knife. I'm just gonna run it back along the backbone, not cutting all the way through the skin. Once I get here, I can take my index finger, I run it underneath, I wrap it around the skin, then I grab the tail, I just grab the fish, like wrap my fingers underneath. A couple fingers here, I've got fingers here, and my thumb, I like to take and pinch the skin up like that. You can see what that does is that gets the meat away from the backbone. Take my knife and insert it right through in front of my fingers so it comes out by the anal fin. I'm gonna pinch that skin up, 
I've got my finger wrapped around here. This is the tail is like a handle. I'm holding on to that. Lifting that skin up away. And then I just take my knife and I should be able to push it right through the ribs. Find that, that sweet spot and it'll cut through it just like butter, man. It'll go right through there. If you find that sweet spot on the ribs, you won't have to wrestle with it. Once I do that, I spin that around, take my knife, I get it started in between the meat and the filet, keep it on a little bit of an angle. You've got all of this. You can hold this down really good while you are cutting the meat off of the skin. Now what I like to do guys, I like to have the handle of my knife hanging over the filet table. Hanging over the filet table. That way I can get that knife really nice and flat down on the skin. And uh, so I, I'm using this as a handle to keep pressure down. And then my knife is on a little bit of an angle and I'm just cutting the skin, separating the skin from the meat like that. The alternative is to grab a hold of the skin and pull the skin back and forth while you hold your knife down on an angle. And you can actually just pull the skin right off of there. We got a nice clean uh, piece of meat and skin separation. Yeah. <laughs> Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the ribs off of this filet. So I'm just gonna come over here. I'm gonna follow the rib line around. They have a really big rib cage. You'll feel those bones in there. I'm gonna follow that around. Once I do that, the next thing that I do is I like to take my knife and right here, come in about a quarter of an inch and run it down because there's always little bones on fish that run right here in this area. So I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna cut that back in. Now this line, this filet's got a line, a red line right here. There's always bones right here on that red line. So I like to come back and cut a V about a half inch back. And that'll take those bones out of there. So that's what that filet should look like. And that'll make it boneless. You trim off here after you cut the ribs, trim off in this area, and then do that little V section right along that little blend line right there. And uh, that'll, that'll remove all the bones out of there. Now the next thing I like to do with sheep's head is I don't like to have the taste of blood on my sheep's head. So I will take this nice sharp knife this is only about an eighth of an inch of blood and i i usually just separate what so what ha, what i end up with is a long piece from the filet there and then i've got this little piece and i take take my knife and i just shave most of the blood off of that little piece of uh sheep's head meat as well little tricky here I mean you can leave the blood on there if you want but that's that's what gives it the the real fishy flavor I need to sharpen my knife there we go got that that's a just a big big hunk of blood on there got that off of there so most of the blood is off of that it's got just a little bit but that's not gonna give it a super strong flavor I got the big cloddy area off so that's what we end up with guys we end up with a strip and a little piece that's the way i like to do mine all right so now i've got my sheep's head flipped over let me spin this guy around so i can get a good good handle on it i get my my finger wrapped down or underneath i got fingers wrapped in between the skin and the backbone i take my thumb and my index finger and i pinch that skin up so it's out of the way so that my knife is not cutting through the meat. See how I got it pinched out of the way? I just take my knife and I'm gonna run it along the backbone, find that soft spot in the ribs. Look at that, I'm, I'm hardly even pushing. Once you find that soft spot, that knife will go right through that rib cage. And then I got a little area here under the pec fin that I gotta cut still on the skin. Right there. Get it separated up there, and there we go. That's looking good. Okay, get our knife started here, keeping pressure here. Got it started on the skin. I can grab a hold of the skin now, pull back and forth on the skin, hold my life knife down on a downward angle, tight to the skin, and just pull that skin right off of there. And uh, there we go. Now we're just gonna do the same thing with the ribs, cut the ribs out. 
on this side. I come back on my fillet, cut that little quarter inch area. Come back here and cut my V shape. Cut that V shape out of the fillet right there so I get all those bones. And it's always a good idea to, to feel your fillets before you cook them. Make sure that you don't feel any bones at all in them. Yeah, once I've got that done, I can just take and cut off the, cut that blood off of the long strip there. And then this little piece, I'm just gonna take and shave that blood off of there. And there we go, and that, a little piece off of the fillet. Thanks for watching this video. I'll put a link to Blair Wiggins' channel down in the description area. And everybody, get out there and go fishing, man. Life is fun. Live it. See ya!